Hello Math Legends, today we're going to be looking at adding and subtracting fractions and we're going to be looking at written methods, so ways we can write things down to work them out. Alright gents, so today we're going to look at adding and subtracting fractions, so what we need to know straight away is that if you have two different denominators, you can't add or subtract them. And this is like saying three apples plus one orange at this present stage. But we need to change them into the same. Now, last lesson, we learned about equivalent fractions, which in a nutshell was if whatever you do to the top, you do to the bottom. So if we look at this one in particular, what we're going to do is we're going to say straight up, OK, is there a way that we can change one of these fractions to look for the denominator to look the same as the other one? Straight away, I look and I go, oh, I can turn 4 into 8. So if I turn 4 into 8, how do I get from 4 to 8? So I've got to multiply that both by, by 2. So if I go 3 fourths, let's multiply both top and bottom by 2, it would be 6 eighths. Now, if I then put plus 1 eighth, I can actually do this now because straight away, I am starting to add like fractions. So 6 eighths plus 1 eighth. Like saying 6 apples plus 1 apple, I know that that would be 7 apples or 7 eighths. Let's look at another one here before I get you to try one for yourself. So straight away I look at my two fractions. I say, are the denominators the same? No, my denominators are not the same. So because my denominator is not the same, I need to change one of them, at least one of them, so that they look the same. So look at the first one, I went, right, one-fifth, seven-tenths. I said, oh, I can change a fifth to a tenth by times it by two. So I go one-fifth, I multiply the same top and bottom, which is two, and I have two-tenths, and I'm going to add the seven-tenths. So two-tenths plus seven-tenths equals nine-tenths. And you can see, once again, that my denominator does not change. It stays exactly the same. So we're always dealing in ten parts. This one has ten parts. Right, I'm going to try a third one. This is a subtraction sum. Now, I'm just going to tell you that because a lot of people don't always look at uh, whether it's an addition or a subtraction sum. They just do it and then they do the wrong way. So it's two thirds take away three ninths. Now, I want you to stop the video here and have a go at this one yourself. And I'll come back in a second and I'll go through it with you. All right, hopefully that wasn't too difficult and we've had a little bit of success. So if we have a look, I can make a third into a ninth really easily. So I'm going to go two thirds and I'm going to say, right, how do I get to a ninth? I'm going to multiply by three. So I multiply both the top and the bottom by three, which then makes six ninths. And I'm going to take away three ninths. So just like I was saying before, it's the same as saying six apples take away three apples. So I would have three apples left or three ninths left. Hopefully you've got that one right, guys.